In this video, we are going to build together this pixel art maker where you can choose your own grid size, then you can choose the color, and after that, you can create some awesome pixel art. We are going to build this in XJS using React and Tailwind. If you are new to this channel, I'm OrgDev, I'm working as a web developer for 15 years already and I created this channel so I can share my web development stories with you. We have here our fresh copy of Next.js and first thing we are going to do is to create a new components directory inside of our root. And there I'm going to create a new component and call it pixelartmaker.tsx. I'm using my React snippets to create the component as fast as possible and here I'm just going to write pixelartmaker so we can test it out. I'm going to our page in our app directory and there I'm going to remove all of these default thingies from Next.js and I'm calling our pixel art maker component, removing this image, we don't need that one, and we can see that we have our pixel art maker component rendered on our index page. So let's start from this one. I'm going to close our page, we don't need it anymore, and basically all the work is going to be inside of our pixel art maker component. First thing we need to do is to create our grid. So for that one, I'm going to create a new state and call it grid size and set grid size. So that one is going to use use state hook from react. And that one is going to be type number. And first default value is going to be 16. Now 16 in our case, it's going to be 16 multiplied by 16. So in the end, we're going to have 256 cells in our grid and based on that state we are going to create a new grid state which is going to be dynamic based on our grid size so this one is going to be also use state and it's going to be array full of strings and for our first default value we are going to create a new array and it's going to be the grid size multiplied by grid size. So in our first case, it's going to be 256 cells, 16 multiplied by 16, but when we change our grid size state later, it is going to change also according to our first state. And we are going to fill this array to be full of colors and first color is going to be white. So our whole grid, is going to be the 256 cells with white color. Let's see how is this going to look in reality. So here I'm going to map through our grid and there we have our color and we need index for our key. So I'm going to create a new div and inside we need our key. So that one is going to be our index in this case. And we're going to put a simple border so we can see that square and we also have our color so for that one we are going to use inline css and we are going to set background color to our color and this one should work so here just we are going to put grid and let's say width of maybe 30 ram something like that and height also so it is going to be a square and let's see what do we have so we still have to put our number of columns and we are using here use state we need to put use client because this is a client component so now we should have white square yes that's good now we just need to put our number of columns that we have pair so it should be 16 in our case that one is going to be dynamic so that's our grid size and there we are also going to put inline css and here we have grid template columns. It's this one and we're going to make it dynamic. We need to repeat our number grid size here and it's going to be just one fraction. So let's see how does it look. Nice. This is our simple grid and here we are going to just create a simple event handler for each cell that is going to turn that whole cell into some other color. That one is going to be easy. We just need a simple function. So I'm going to call it handle cell click 
and we're going to receive index, which is going to be a number. So that's index of our each cell. And we are going to put here on click, handle cell click and send our index like this. And that one should work. So here we just need to call our new grid is going to be just I'm using here the spread operator to take the current grid and I'm going to change the color on our new grid with index that we are sending here inside of our function and I'm going to put it as black for now and just set grid to our new grid and this one should work let's try it out so now if I click here yes it's becoming black so now we can we can already start creating our pixel art, but still we need to change our grid size and also to choose color for our cells. So let's create a new state for our selected color and I'm going to call it just like that. Selected color and set selected color and that one is going to be type string. And in the beginning, we can put it to be just black, like it is now. And we can move all of these inside of some constants. So I'm going to create here our default grid size, which is going to be 16. Then I'm going to create the default grid color. And that one is going to be white and default selected color and that one is going to be black so it's much easier like this and easier to find inside of your code and not have it like spreaded from your components and everything okay that one looks good now we can put our selected color state here instead of this hard-coded black color and we can start creating our inputs I'm going to create a new div and wrap up everything here. And that one is going to be flex, flex column. And we're going to justify it to center and items to center and a little bit of gap. And here I'm going to create another div where it's going to be flex and just a little bit of gap between our items. And the first one is going to be our label and it's going to be pick color like this and the other one is going to be pick grid size our first input is going to be type of number and value is going to be our grid size and on change we are going to use our event and set our grid size to our event dot target dot value and we need to close here our input and we have a problem with the string probably yes so we are going to turn this to number before we send it to set our grid size and the other one is going to be type of color and there we're going to use as a value our selected color and on change we are going to do exactly the same thing so we are using our event and we are setting our selected color to event dot target dot value like this closing our input and let's see how does it look it looks nice we just need to put here our flex column where is that one flex call not column like this and voila looks nice not sure why is this number invisible oh because we need our text black and i'm going to add it here so let's test it out if it's working now if i change this oh it's not working well i know why because we are changing the grid size but we are not actually changing our grid so we need to create our new handle grid change function and there we are going to send our new value so that's going to be new grid size and it should be a number so that one is going to be called here like this and 
Here we are going to set our grid size to our new grid size, like this. And if we change our grid size, we are going to set grid to a new array. And that one is going to be the new grid size multiplied by our new grid size. And we are just going to fill it again with our default grid color like this. Let's try it out now. So I'm refreshing. And now when we change, we have actually good grid. So this one is looking now much better. So we are multiplying it each time. And now we can try our color. So I'm going to choose red. And now it seems to be working. Nice, it's working. So if I change my color to blue or something like that, yes, I can draw. Awesome. So now I can try drawing that famous Minecraft sword. So let's try it something like this. I think. Oh, it's actually not that hard. Oh, I made a mistake. Or let's make it valuable that mistake like this. And now the handle. Awesome. I made my first Minecraft sword like this. Nice! I hope you enjoyed the videos, warriors. If you want more content, just subscribe and join the horde!